Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus read for you guys. You had the highest viewership of all the signs last week, and so I am going to do a bonus read for you. All right, so I do wanna remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, and also keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, all right? Um, you will have this one last chance to get in for the uh, free tarot reading giveaway. Um, if you want to do that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. All right. So let's get started, Cancer. Spirit, can I have the energy of Cancer? Okay, so Cancer, you're starting out with the Strength card. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And coming out together is the Five of Cups reverse along with the King of Cups. Okay. All right, so I do see that some of you may be feeling a little bit stuck here. But don't stress because, you know, that's a Divine Timing card. So especially for those of you that are in spiritual connections. Now, I did have some people that left me comments and said, look, I'm not with anyone new. And some of you are not, and you don't want to be. Some of you do want to be, but you're not healed. And it's been my experience that you can't use another person and jump into a relationship and use that to heal you. So it's a process. Everybody's going to be at their own. Um, they're going to heal at their own rate. So, you know, be kind to yourself and don't stress. Leave that for someone else. If there's not someone new in your life, it's simply you're just not ready yet. Or if you feel like you're ready, maybe you're not healed yet. Or maybe spirit has something better in mind. In any event, what I'm seeing here is a little bit of stuck energy. It is regarding love because we do have the King of Cups down here. Um, now, this is representing you. It's strong water sign energy. And I will say that it is um, a very high order of energy, which is good. You also have the Strength card here. So, I feel like you're showing up in this reading as being very strong and open to love in some to some degree. And for those of you that are not fully open, you're, you're trying to be open, you know, you're trying to, um, you're trying to open your energy up. You have the five of cups in the reverse that's coming out. And that tells me that you've been through a darker period, a period where there may have been some depression, could have been some, um, for some of you, it wasn't as deep as that, but, uh, some of you, it was, and, but even so, there was some unhappiness here. And you're coming out of that now. But it's taken a lot to get you there. You're overcoming things that are internal. So you're working on yourself. And it's only a matter of time until this wheel of fortune turns in your favor. So your energy here, Cancer, looks really good. Um, you're just coming across as really strong here. Deeply rooted and you know, really working on yourself as well as kind of coming out of this dark period. So I like it. All right. So let's see who's in your energy. Oh. Show me who's in Cancer's energy, please. All right. So we start out with the Three of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so the person that's in your energy, I feel like they want to build some kind of foundation with you. This is a card of being cooperative and wanting to, you know, have a contract, wanting to um, come together. But in this particular deck, there is something that's a little bit toxic with that um, idea for them. So there's something in their energy that either they're not seeing this completely clearly or there's some element that is keeping it um, 
a little bit toxic for some reason. Now, there's an acknowledgement that things did not work out between the two of you. And they know that what they've been doing in the past has not worked. So they're kind of coming to terms with that, but they're feeling very powerless here. They're feeling disempowered. They There's a sense of powerlessness because of what isn't working. I, I almost feel like this person's like, I don't know what else to do. So let's see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy, okay. Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Yeah, so you are really balancing out your feminine and masculine energies here. That's uh, that's really, that's pretty profound, actually. Um, I can see that the two of you view this relationship differently. I also see that this is a strong love that you have for this person. So you do have feelings for them and if you could pick the ideal person, if let's say this person was doing everything they were supposed to be doing, I feel like you would choose this person. This is this is who you would want in your life. So, I mean, your energy here is really, really clear. They're obviously trying to work some things out. Now, they're not able to walk away from this connection. I feel like they tried to, and if they did, they're walking back in your direction as well, because they wanna they wanna try to create a foundation with you. Let's see the um, but the two of you, Cancer, are viewing this connection very differently. I will say that. Let's see what uh, is affecting this connection. The King of Pentacles. So. Someone might be in another connection or someone could be very focused on their money. I think you are definitely focused on your money. Your energy, um, Cancer, is very high vibration. So you may be waiting for an influx of money too. Yeah, you, you may be waiting for a, a, a big influx of money. The, I, I do feel like there's somebody who might be in another commitment. I don't feel like it's you because I feel like that's why you feel stuck. And for them, they know that this is why things are not working out. You could be dealing with an earth sign, which would be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Let's see the outcome. Show me the outcome, please. You could also be dealing with another water sign, but um, if so, that would be another Cancer like yourself or a Pisces or a, um, let's see, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Let's see outcome, Spirit, at the end of this week. Oh, wow. The Fool. That's a new beginning. Hmm. So we'll have to clarify that. I feel like that, uh, <laughs> so that new beginning, there could be something that's a little painful in that and it might have to do with loyalties. Somebody that you may think is loyal may not be. It, now, this could be any kind of new beginning. Um, it could be with this person, but it could also be something else that you're working on. Because I see that with this King of Pentacles, you're very focused on your money. So, I do see a new beginning happening. And we're going to clarify as to what that is. It could be that even there's an attempt. Clarification will help us to understand that. Oh, okay. Well, bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is energy that is in and out, in and out. Um, it can also be a very flirtatious energy. It can be somebody who just comes in, uh, they want the cookie, so they come in, they get the cookie, and then they're out just as quickly. Um, 
this is the underlying energy. So you you may have somebody here that is very flirtatious and you know inconsistent in their energy, or they could be very sexual. So just be aware that's the underlying energy. And that, that might be why we have this as well. I'm very curious about that. All right, Cancer, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the strength card here for Cancer? Why is the strength card here? Okay, so we have the Emperor in reverse. And the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, there was an ending here. And that ending was extremely painful for you, Cancer. I feel like you may feel that things kind of spun out of control. And for some of you, like I said, this is a spiritual connection. I feel like uh, regardless of who left the connection, I feel like the masculine energy is the, the party that is not... Um, in a compatible um, vibration. And that's why things ended here in a very painful way. Um, you, you've really worked on yourself, and I feel like you have done a lot to try to bounce back from this. But there's still, it's still very painful. There's still something very painful about this. Um, I'm also seeing that you may feel that you are having to have strength in order to kind of take control of this situation yourself. Things did not go as planned or as you would have wanted them to. Because like I said, with this Queen of Cups here, if you had had everything go perfectly, you would have seen yourself with this person. Sign of Aries, by the way. Um, we have the Hierophant in reverse and the Ten of Coins. Yeah, it's pretty much the same energy. Um, however, there is something that it appears that you may be waiting for. For some of you, you may be waiting for this person to end a commitment. And it would be a long-term commitment. You are thinking yourself long-term and... I feel like you you believe that once this person ends this commitment, you then can build with them. Um, but some of you are recognizing that if this is a spiritual connection, that there is a karmic involved and that this is a divine timing and that the divine timing is not, not, um, it's not a, Appropriate is not the right word. Divine timing is off right now. But there's a, almost this energy for some of you that you, you're you waiting on some level for this person to end another commitment in order to build a long-term connection with this person. Now, what I'm going to say about that, Cancer, is don't ever wait for someone. Um, live your life. Because this person could have you waiting forever, and you don't want that. So, let's uh, clarify this bottom energy. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. We have the Two of Coins. The Lovers. And here again, we have the Eight of Coins reversed. So obviously, there was a decision that needed to be made. For some, there was a decision, and it's this person who had this decision to make because we're going right back to their energy. So there was a decision to be made. For some, it was between two people. For others, it was just a very big, important decision in love. And I feel like, Things didn't work because this person did not choose to make an offer. They weighed up the pros and cons. They were looking at it, trying to... So, some of them chose someone else over you. And for others, they chose another like situation, such as work or 
they just chose not to make the offer. Or, or possibly for some of you, you turned an offer down. But you definitely see this person as someone that you love and someone that you want to be with. I do feel that you are, you're coming out of that energy. It really threw you for a loop. It really did. And I feel like you're coming out of that energy now. But there's an acknowledgement that for some of you, this this person is still in your energy. Now, I know a lot of you don't want anything to do with this person at all because it has been very painful. And, you know, that's that's your choice because you have choices too. And I can see that represented here as well, that if this person does try to come back through offering you this cup of love, that you will turn them down because you're not... Um, it, it's because of everything you went through. So it's really, I, I feel like it's really going to become your choice at that point, Cancer. Let's look at their energy. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? We have the world in reverse and the four of wands. Yeah, there's a there's a, a marriage or a long-term connection that is not over. There's something that's not completed. So this person is trying to build a foundation with you, but there's something here that's not completed in another connection. And that's what's toxic about this. So it's kind of like, well, thanks, but no, because this isn't what, this isn't, I'm not an option, basically. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse? I mean, I don't understand why this person thinks that they can do that. There's a, a need to end whatever they're in before they move forward. That's ridiculous. I mean, how do you not know that? All right, Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want a, they want this Ace of Cups with you. And they're, they're sitting in regret right now because things didn't work out. This is what they want. It, it didn't go through. So if they're the ones who chose someone else or chose another situation, now they're regretting it and they want to have this new beginning with you. Let's see why the Seven of Wands is in reverse. I mean, this person kind of wants to have their cake and eat it too, and you can't do that. The Hermit and the High Priestess. Oof, wow, that's a spiritual couple too. Um, yeah, so they are doing a lot of thinking. They feel like you're keeping secrets. They feel like there's things that um, is going on with you, Cancer, that they don't know about. They're trying to figure out well, what's going on. What What is Cancer keeping secrets about? Um, they're trying to figure themselves out. But basically, they feel powerless here. They feel that you're very mysterious. So... A lot of you guys must have kind of either blocked them or cut them off because they don't know what's going on with you. They feel like there's some mystery surrounding you. And they're they're really like deep in thought about what to do, how to handle this, and what is what is really going on with you. It's eaten them up, actually. But they feel powerless. And the thing is, is I don't feel like they're powerless. They just need to make a decision and then act accordingly. Let's look at the connection. Show me the energy of this connection, please. All right, so we have the devil in reverse. We have the ten of cups and we have the judgment. Yeah, they're coming back trying to have another another start with you. They're regretful of the their decision in the past. Now, you both want to 
to have this connection. Like I said, if you could have it, you know, in a perfect world, you would have chosen this person, obviously, or they wouldn't be so deep in your energy. There's a part of you that can see yourself in a happy, you know, family with this person, feeling emotionally content, and they do too. That's the thing is that you both see each other as emotional contentment. Now, the difference is, is that you experience this painful ending and you want nothing to do with the toxicity. So the toxic element, which has to do with a third party, whether it be another person or them placing another situation over you, you're not having it. You're just not having it. So you really have grown a lot. You've done a lot, made a lot of changes in your life, and it took a lot for you to get there. You've overcome a lot to do that. And you're seated in your power here. They know this. And that's just making you look all the more attractive to them. Now, on their side, <laughs> they're coming back in, even though there is another situation that is not complete. Yeah, they're coming back in. Let's see why the King of Pentacles is here. It's like the more you become complete in yourself, Cancer, the, it's just drawing this person in more and more. All right, King of Cups in the reverse and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you're focused on your money right now. You're focused on your money, not this connection. You are, you have a loving energy towards this person, but you are emotionally disconnecting. And I think they feel that. You're looking at your long-term wealth. And you're kind of holding back. You're holding back because, like I said, if this person doesn't take the steps necessary to end something, another commitment of some sort. You're not, you're not going to offer any emotions to them. And there's a sense here that you may feel that being with them is disempowering to you at this point because you're trying to heal your energy and it doesn't appear that they are. It appears that they are trying to repeat the same patterns over and over. Now, on their side, they know what happened that caused this not to work out. They, it, It's right over here. And they know it's caused conflict between the two of you. They are regretful. They know that there's unfinished business. And they put you in competition with someone else or something else. But yet, here they are asking for a new beginning. Now, this is where I was really wondering. Let's see why the fool is here. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is there's going to be, there's going to be a conversation. It looks like there's going to be, there's going to be talk about or conversation. Something's going to bring you clarity about a new beginning. It wouldn't surprise me, Cancer, if this person didn't, if, if they were the one to approach you. Now, I haven't seen that in any of this energy, so it could actually be either of you. Um, but it looks like there will be a conversation. And that conversation will be about taking this leap of faith, taking the risk. But I feel like uh, there's something that's telling you to hold back. There's something 
telling you that, that this person might not be loyal to you. I'm not so sure that you're going to listen. Some of you will, some, some won't. But I also see that if that is the case, it will proceed very slowly. I don't see you jumping into anything. And also, now we have this Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Here we have it in the reverse, which tells me that you are going to relate to this person that you're not going to move forward even in a slow manner until there's an ending in something else. That until then, you'll be focusing on your money and you're not available. That's, that's pretty much what I'm seeing. If this person chooses to stop waiting, because they, they're going to realize, look, if, if I keep waiting, I, I'm not going to have this opportunity. So they're, they're realizing this. And they're, I feel like this person's becoming scared. They're afraid if they wait any longer that cancer's out the door because they're already wondering if you're with someone else. And some of you may be. So I do feel that there will be a conversation. You're going to be very clear with them. They already know what you're going to tell them anyway. But I feel like you will not move forward with this until there's an ending that they create. And I feel like for them, they are understanding. They're afraid. They're, they're literally afraid that you are either with someone new, that you're keeping secrets, or that you're, you won't be there if they take much longer. And so I do feel that they're going to start moving forward as well. So I'm seeing some progress in this situation. But uh, there is some forward movement. But I feel like a lot of it's going to be just about clarification and communication. Now, don't forget, we did have this Knight of Wands in the reverse, so it wouldn't surprise me if this person came in in a very flirtatious manner. Um, so be aware of that as well. Now, bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So this tells me that there is progress being made towards resolving problems. Now, whether that's together or that's separate, I see that happening. Regardless of what you decide to do, Cancer, I feel like uh, you're going to begin to move forward into some new beginning very slowly. So, I'm going to pull an Oracle card for you to round this out. I mean, it really looks like, Cancer, you kind of took your power back here. And in doing so, you switch the tables. And I know that has to feel good because this did not feel good. I can tell. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. So the card you have is 46. 46 comes, uh, comes out to a 10, which is completion and it's choices. Now, also this is an angel. So I'm going to read this directly. I haven't pulled this card before, so very curious. It's interesting, though, that it's choices because, I, like I said, I feel like it's going to be your choice. All right, let's see what we have. All right, it says, Do you know the story of a winged immortal in the house of night who had to choose between the dark and the light? Do you know what he chose? Right now, you are faced with a choice. All you need to do is ask, is this for my highest good? The choice you make will be an important step in your life lessons. Remember, even not deciding is a choice. So what will it be? Oh, look at this. It says, choose another card to show you what your choice will bring you. 
Let's do that. Let's do that. I think Scorpio's reading um, had a choice like this and we chose another card. So let's choose another card to see what your choice is going to bring you. Do so you have a choice? Ask yourself, if is this for my highest good? And, okay, so this says, this is number 41. 41 comes out to five, so that's changes. So there's endings and changes coming, and this is belonging. So let me get that. I'm going to read that for you. This is what your choice will bring, is belonging. All right, it says, come and enter the house of night, for when you choose this symbol, you have joined us in this community of beauty, friendship, and secrets, only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. This symbol also tells you that you are in the right place now. You are home. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. And when you choose this symbol, know that I, Nyx, goddess of night, have chosen you. So this is all about belonging and being comfortable in your own skin. So whatever choice you choose, Cancer, you're, you're in the right place now is what this is saying. So I feel like this is all about growth, which you've done a tremendous amount of. So... Just ask yourself when presented with these choices, is, is this for my highest good? All right, I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, thank you so much for your support. And um, if you are interested in one last go at the free tarot reading, go ahead, subscribe. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and drop me a comment. And, um, Till I see you in your regular readings, and that will be on Sunday, um, and that will be your monthly reading. Until then, namaste.